हाँ मुतुल अपना इंट्रोडक्शन देते हुए टॉपिक का इंट्रोडक्शन दीजिए स्टार्ट करिए स्क्रीन विजिबल विजिबल है? गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीवन। माय नेम बतूल नकवी आई एम अ थर्ड सेमेस्टर स्टूडेंट एंड माय टॉपिक इज हीट बजट सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग विद द टॉपिक लेट अस डिस्कस अ फ्यू बेसिक थिंग्स द अर्थ रिसीव्स हीट एनर्जी फ्रॉम थ्री बेसिक सोर्सेस एंड दीज आर दर्स्ट इज सोलर एरिएशन एंड ग्रेविटी एंड देन इंटू Into genetic forces coming from within the Earth. Solar radiation is the most significant source of terrestrial heat energy. The solar energy received at the Earth's Earth surface is called insulation or the solar radiation. Now we are going to discuss about the heat budget of the Earth. So heat budget is basically a balance between incoming heat absorbed by the Earth and the outgoing heat. Means uh, it actually means if hundred units of uh, heat is coming uh, to the earth, so uh, it is equivalent to the hundred outgoing heat. Heat balance between the amount of solar radiation received by the earth surface and its atmosphere, and the amount of heat lost by the outgoing terrestrial long wave radiation from the earth surface and loss of heat from the atmosphere. The radiation from the sun towards the Earth is called incoming short wave solar radiation, and the radiation from the Earth towards the atmosphere is called outgoing long wave terrestrial radiation. So we are going to study the heat budget in uh, in two ways. First, from the uh, sun to the Earth, that is in the form of short wave solar radiation, and then from the Earth to the atmosphere, that is in the form of outgoing long wave terrestrial radiation. Moving to the uh, next, we have incoming short wave solar radiation. So let's consider uh, the amount of insulation received uh, in the top of the atmosphere is hundred percent. So while passing through the atmosphere, some amount of energy is reflected, is scattered, and absorbed. As we know that our atmosphere composed of gases and dust particles and water vapors, so the lot of energy get absorbed in the atmosphere itself. Only the remaining part reaches the earth surface. So roughly there is a data that roughly thirty five units are reflected back even before reaching the earth surface. And in these thirty five units, twenty seven percent of the energy is reflected by the uh, by the clouds, and six percent is scattered uh, is scattered uh, to the space. remaining 2% is reflected by the uh, ground and that is uh, from the snow covered areas uh, so this is also called the albedo of the earth so as we know the albedo of snow uh, covered areas is highest so they reflect most of the energy incident to them so uh, remaining we will study about the remaining 65% 35% is reflected back before reaching the earth surface now the remain uh, what remain is the 65% in in that 65% 14% of the energy is absorbed in the atmosphere itself now we have to study about the remaining 51% so uh, the remaining 51% of the energy uh, so there is a diagram of short wave solar radiation in this you can see that uh, 27% is reflected by the cloud if you could see my cursor 2% by the earth and the 6% is scattered to the space so remaining we have the 51% and 14% is absorbed by the atmosphere now outgoing long wave terrestrial radiation after receiving energy from the sun the earth also radiates energy out of its surface into the atmosphere through long waves the terrestrial radiation is also called as effective radiation uh, it helps in the heating of the uh, lower uh, atmosphere so this is called as the effective radiation the earth radiates back 51 unit in the form of terrestrial radiation so the 51 units that we have received uh, to in that, that that was received in the earth surface now it is being uh, radiated back to the uh, atmosphere so 23% is uh, through radiation 9% through convection and turbulence and 19% through evaporation or through the latent heat of condensation So this is a figure of long wave earth radiation. In this, you can see that seven, uh, the Earth has received twenty three percent, twenty three percent of the energy, and out of this twenty three, seventeen percent is radiated to space from Earth directly, and six percent is absorbed in the atmosphere. 
and 9% is uh, is lost in turbulence and convection and 19% through a latent heat of condensation so here you can see that the atmosphere has received two types of radiation the first 14% we have studied was uh, from the short waves and the next uh, 34% so this is the total of 48% which the atmosphere has absorbed Uh, this is a flow chart for the clearer understanding of the heat budget. Here you can see that 100 units solar radiation was received, in which 35 units are reflected back to the space. Now the remaining 65 units, uh, which reaches the Earth, in this 14 units are absorbed by the atmosphere and 51 units are absorbed by the Earth. And in this 51 units, 17 units radiate, radiated back to space directly. Now, these, now we are left with 34 units. These 34 units are absorbed by the atmosphere by the long wave terrestrial radiation. These 34 units plus the 40, 14 units uh, we have, the atmosphere has received from the short wave radiation. So 14 plus 34 is a total of 48 units which is absorbed by the atmosphere and that is finally radiated, radiated back to the space from the atmosphere. So it was all about the heat budget. Thank you so much. तो आपने बढ़िया आपने जो कंटेंट इसमें इस्तेमाल किया था पीपीटी में जो आपने कंटेंट लगाया है बहुत बढ़िया लगाया है लेकिन थोड़ा आपको जो मैंने डायग्राम बनवाया था या मैंने भेजा था ग्रुप में वो आपको इसमें ऐड करना चाहिए था जो आपने दो अलग अलग लॉन्ग वेव और शॉर्ट वेव के डायग्राम लगाए थे तो बहुत ही हाँ हाँ मैं सुन पा रहा हूँ हाँ बतूल जो आपने अलग अलग दो डायग्राम जो लगाए हैं इसमें एक शॉर्ट वेव का अलग लगाया है एक लॉन्ग वेव का अलग लगाया है अब इतना एक कॉम्प्लिकेटेड है कि आ, लोगों को समझ में नहीं आता कि कहाँ जो है इनकमिंग हो रही है कहाँ आउटगोइंग हो रही है एनर्जी तो आ, जो मैंने बनवाया था क्लास में वो डायग्राम अगर इसमें लगाती तो मुझे लगता है कि एक ही डायग्राम में काफ़ी कुछ जो है जो सारा अलग अलग था ना वो कॉम्प्लिकेटेड मैटर एक ही डायग्राम में हो जाता और ईज़िली वो समझ में आ जाता कि हाँ किस तरफ से आ रही है कैसी आ रही है और कितना किस माध्यम से आ रही है एनर्जी और किस माध्यम से जा रही है तो वो और अच्छा हो जाता फिल फिलहाल आपने जो मैटर पीपीटी में इंक्लूड किया था काफ़ी अच्छा किया और बहुत अच्छा था वेरी गुड